Alright guys, we're in Marsh Woodlands and we're about to get a corp replaced for a neck on a bunny. Ready? So here it is. This is Pedro. You should tell her. You should tell her. She's still in there. And here's the uh, neck here. Um, basically what has happened is the cork. The cork has pretty much worn off of it. Let's see? No cork. So he's about to replace it. Really cheap, really quick. So yeah, this is a um, Selmer Bundy neck, um, just a beginner saxophone that my sister normally uses. Um, here um, you can see the Bundy. That's how you can tell it's a Bundy because you know most of the time Bundys have their um, B engraved on it, the neck octave pick. So yep, it's nice. I like the workstation, the working atmosphere. I think that's really cool. So did that, uh, uh, did, was there is there an option to return the, uh, the box? Or and that's Peter on the phone, you guys. Um, yeah, he's doing his work stuff. You know, it's all, it's all the compartments. Well, Just look, it's, it's neat. Nice workshop. Yeah, well, I had to try it out. Here's the glues and the, the pad residual resin clearers and the, and the, um, the oils and... How much was it? Oh, this wonderful stuff. I love it. Well, I, mean, I love it. Okay, Here's some okay. pads. Different pads of all kinds of sizes well, and it, shapes. It's the right size I love it. I love it. And here, we got some more pads. And more pads and more pads. And there you can see some Q-tips. Yep. There's a heating gun here. I see that. I see that. There's a the mouthpiece that goes with the uh, saxophone. Uh, neck he that he's about to repair and, yeah. and up here we see um, we see old nice tenor saxophones yeah. and old yeah, fairy no, saxophone oh, look so. at this up here this is neat well, I, you know what? We have that under the box at home. very very yeah, nice I like this work environment Um, it, monetarily it's not worth it, but if it's got sentimental value, then that's up to you. Monetarily it's probably worth $10 or something, you know, they're not worth a lot. Yeah, no, no, there were a lot of clarinets back in the day made in France, and, you know, clarinets don't age well like violins do. They wage wor they get worse with age, you know, so old wooden clarinets are, like, notoriously bad, and especially... Exactly. Yeah, the tone holes get ruined, and I, I just had to rebuild one, and it took me forever. But um, there, uh, you know, I, I, if you want it rebuilt, I can certainly do it. But you're probably talking about two hundred dollars, and it's you know, the, I don't think it's worth it. Probably, yeah. Uh, they start around four and. Um, a used uh, R13, you know, which is like the top of the line. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. We have a ton of clarinets, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. All right, so... Two, and you put glue on the cork, mm -hmm. like so. This is contact cement. You have it put on the little bevel there, and then you let that dry completely. And you put glue on the neck also. Oh, okay. And that has to dry completely. And that takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. After it dries, we put it together, and the glue is set. And that's that's all the gluing you need to worry about. And then we just sand it down. Mm -hmm. Take your mouthpiece. You want to sit right there and let her dry. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that's it. What year was that, Rodney? Is that oh, in the 70s? Uh, oh, it, no. Yeah, late 70s, early 80s. Yeah. Chris Keller. Fire out, man. And taping. With Ann Carroll. You've never even seen her before. You don't even know what she looks like. I'm taping this part now. 
first time I took her to the beach. Wow. Now this is the leak light, you guys. <laughs> the famous Freshly leak seat. light. Yeah. Wow, those are great. Do you take those pictures? Yeah, I took all of them. Yeah. Those are great pictures. Isn't that a cool picture right there? Jeez. Did Jan find all that? Yeah, she's not happy with me. Oh, really? Probably <laughs> is yeah, she's a Puritan. That's nice cork grease and time to get working. Yeah. How, how far did she put it on? Do you have any idea? Uh, she probably put it on maybe an inch off. So, you think that's okay? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Okay, cool. Yeah. And it will compress. Uh huh. Yeah, so so. we'll just, you know, she'll be able to manage it a little bit better. Let me just take a hair more off. So. And I do have a tenor, a tenor bushel you had looked at uh -huh. a while, but you didn't do everything you could to it. Okay. And I really need that done. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I am on spring break this week, so I might, you might see me come back in here. Yeah, bring it in. Yeah. Yeah, you know we're closed on Sunday and Monday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'll probably be back, right back in here on Tuesday. Uh, okay. Thanks, and she's all fixed, all done. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> My pleasure.